Now HTTP subreddit response. So again, I'll tell you same here. Like whenever a request come, the container creates two object request and response, and it pass to the subreddit pass to do get and do post method, right? So this request is coming sublet. Now sublet can transfer this request to other sublet. Like inter sublet communication is there, and this guy can take care of the response. This guy also directly generate the response for the client. Can do. The possibility is there, right? But if this guy is taking or interacting with the other sublet, that also possible. Inter sublet communication is there. We have to use request dispatcher for this purpose, right? Status code. Whenever you are accessing some web page and if it is not there, what you get? You get for not for, right? Page not found. Remember, no such page. So there are some status code we are having. So and why do we need HTTP response status code? It is very useful because the status code. Help in formatting client to another page indicates a request or resource is missing. Instruct browser to use cache copy, something like that. If I say status 200, if I get it means that has been successfully uh, sent to the server, right? Process successfully. Default for sublet 204 uh, success, but no response body. Browser should keep displaying previous. Document right. Three not one. So I can say this: the status code moved permanently. The document moved permanently. Browser go to new location automatically, right? Now, status code moved temporarily. Three not two. So there are number of uh, we are having a status code. So if it is hundred information, it is uh, related to the information right so there's a 200 300 and 400 even the 500 error is there if you are getting an error related to the 500 it means it is a server error if it is a 400 it is a, like the resource is not there page is not available right like that headers why http response headers Give forwarding location specify cookies, okay, and supply the page modification date. Instruct the browser to reload the page after designated interval. Give the file size so that persistent SD connection can be used. Designate the type of document being generated, okay. Response header like if you want to set some content type, okay, you want to send some language type, something like that. For that sake, we use this. Okay. So location. That's why document new location, right? Refresh. That's why delay before the browser automatically reloads the page. So set cookie. The cookies that browser should remember, right? So we can say response dot uh, set cookies and all. Content type last modify. All this we can do. You can see this example of HTTP response status. So it go to the version 200 OK and content type and the your documents. So whole will go as a response to the client. OK. There are some methods we are having like set a status code. You want to generate some status code to the client. OK, we can say set a status code and a status code we can use for that. SC underscore right. Set headers. We can set some header information, date header, integer header, add date headers. So there are several methods we are having for that purpose. Add cookies for adding cookies. Response dot send redirect. So we can redirect to the new page, new URL or different URL we can say. Okay. Now writing a response body. So a sublet almost always return a response body. Response body could either be print writer or sublet output stream. So we can write print writer or equal to response dot get writer. So if we are writing here print writer uh, dot response dot get writer, 
means this is the character stream because java maintains two type of a string character stream and byte stream you want to send as a binary data or byte stream right here response dot get output stream and take a object here sublet output stream right so this is a sublet output stream and print writer so print writer will use unicode characters sublet output stream will use byte characters okay byte handling errors so if you want to just come to here first so handling errors for handling errors we are having several stuff like error page display error page to user one can have a many different error page for different different stuff right there's a one method send error response dot send error we can see okay so use this method to send the response back to the user by putting response code and some text messages set a status you want to set some status so we can say response dot set status and status code we can write there we have a subject exception also use log file so we can write something in the log file also right for let us say you want to make a error page so some kind of like book not found exception library closed exception right so we'll make some error page here we design book error dot html we design library error dot html okay and in case if i get some error what will do we are having babe.xml right remember in the babe.xml we'll write one code here what code look at now we are saying that error page if exception type is book not found exception go to this page if my exception is a library closed exception go to this page so this page will render now you design your error page so that user will easily come to know what kind of problem you are having right so this is very easy just write this code in your web.xml and make some html page with error okay set a status code you can just pass some kind of uh, or i can say set a status as sent error so there are four methods for sending error code and messages through sublet response object from the sublet code to the user directory so we are having here like we can say public void set a status used to set the response status code in response object so by looking that response code i mean sorry status code person can come to know what is the problem right so even set a status code or you can pass a message also with that send error send error is something like that i can say here uh used to set the response status code in response object and send the response immediately to the user the server may give the error a special treatment okay send error with code and messages also we can do used to set the response status code and small text messages in response object and send the response immediately to the user okay so these are the two methods which help us to manage errors right look at this code here if any error occurs here so if exceptions happen we are saying what response dot set a status so this is a response code status code not found for not for right and response body the message will come you can write something here and we can also write directly like uh, if some error occurs send error response code so it will go to the page there right so these are the two exception we are having sublet exceptions and unavailable exceptions okay which help you to handle the exceptions now and the last one is the using log file if you want to write something to the server log file we are having a get sublet context dot log so this is a context so we can say context dot log we can simply write that so 
use system dot order pin line all suggested go to the catalina dot dot log file under log folders okay so we can use log file in sublet to log error masses for later analysis we can put masses in a log file into like a different way or uh, also you can write get sublet context dot log right so that's all about the basic uh, understanding of the request and response or uh, next we have to understand the session management